Hello guys, welcome to today's class where we'll be looking at another property of binary operations. This property we'll be talking about distributivity or the distributive property. Now, the distributive property can be regarded in two ways. You can regard it as the left distributive property, also as the right dis di distributive property. But generally, the, the property we use, the one we use mo more, that, that is the one that is used more generally is the left distributive property. So we'll be looking at both, both of them. We'll be seeing how they actually apply and how we can actually use them. Now, the distributive property is basically just like an expansion process. That is, an expansion of a particular, of some particular values in a bracket and a particular value outside the bracket. That is, performing an operation on both of them in the bracket. So I'll, I'll be showing that briefly. Now, for distributive property, I said we have the right distributive, we have the left distributive property first. Because that is the very first one. For the left distributive property, it explains, like the associativity, we also use theory variables, theory objects. We relate theory objects to give us a product. So the theory objects we'll be relating here will be using A, B, and C. So for the left distributive, we consider a particular operation A, a particular variable A, relating with a particular variable with the, with the, with the, with the, with the operation B. So in a case where you have something like this, we have an operation this, and then another operation this, and then for its left distributivity, it means that what we are taking this, the single variable is on the left hand side of the operation. So because this is the single variable, this is what's left distributive property. So it is kind of an expansion process where we actually use our A to open up the brackets. But then it's not a multiplication, but then it's the kind of what's using the operations that we have. So Looking at this, we can say A times this. Now, this is not a times or addition process. It's not a multiplication process. But comparing this to the general multiplication process that we know, consider this, where we have something like this, where we have an A times B plus C. You know, in our process of using these two basic operations, we realize that what, what we do when we actually want to open our brackets like this, that is when we want to go into our expansion process, we basically say A times B plus A times C. That is... What we do is, is basically A times B plus A times C. So it is kind of what an expansion process, and that is what the distributivity is. So the only thing is that what the times and the plus are not the operations we use in this case. We use any other operation, we use different other operations, but then we actually need to follow the same principle that is used in this operation. So it's basically an expansion process, and then from this, from our idea of what we've said already, we can deduce that for the left distributivity, if your A, if you have an operation such as this, you know that was, if you want to, using the distributivity, you know this will become A, operation B, that same A, operation C. So you take this, relate this operation with B, and then using that same A, relate this operation with C. Then the one between B and C remains at the center of the two operations. So that is just what the left distributive property is all about. For the right distributive, it also follows the same principle. The only difference, is that the single variable is at the right hand side. For the right distributive, we have something like this. So instead of the single variable to be at this side, it is at the other side. So instead of that, so it is still the same process of expansion, where you have A, and the one between them remains at the center of the two brackets, and then we have B. But more often than not, we consider the left distributive property as distributivity. So it is the left distributive property in a case where you are not told whether to do it in the left distributive or right distributive, you, we take the left distributive property as our standard. But in a, if you are told, you know, you, then you use any, the, any of the ones you are actually told to use. But in this case, once there is no, um, once there is no instruction on whether to use the left or the right, we use the left as a standard. So that is what the distributivity is all about. What we need to know is that what it uses three variables, just like the associativity, and unlike commutative, unlike commutativity, it uses three variables. And then the next thing we need to know is just, just like is, 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 it is just like an expansion process, and everything that it involves will, will be explained in the next class. Where we'll be looking at an example one, where we'll be explaining, we'll be solving a question based on this principle. So see you next class. Have a nice day.